Right, in this video I'm going to show you how I redesigned my rear part-off tool post holder for the Myford ML7 by making up this block here with an extra T-bolt which is simply bolted onto the side of the um, first tool holder I made and this makes it much safer in use um, less chance of actually breaking the uh, T-slots on the cross slide so now I'll show you in the workshop how I made this one up completely on the Myford ML7 and you'll know that I haven't got a milling machine so I use an angle plate. So I'll show a quick view of the um, setup and machining operations that I use and how I methodically go through um, making things up as I go without using drawings. So firstly I've got my length of 40mm square bright mild steel bar so I can put it into the self-centering four-door chuck and face off both ends. I then set my depth clock up uh, with the facing off tool so that I can actually face the block off to exactly two inches. So now I've blacked the block up and I'll just find the centre of that one and scribe that. And I've just centre punched it. So I've got my four jaw independent chuck up now. I've got an extension in the tail stock with a live centre with a very sharp point. A piece of wood on the um, ways there. And this is a trick to actually get the chuck adjusted quickly. Put the live centre point in the centre punch hole and lock up the tail stock then I can wind in each jaw so it touches the sides so I'm gently doing those jaws up at the moment being careful that I don't push the block off centre like this and then this is a really quick way of actually centering a piece of work up in a four jaw independent chuck So now when I take the centre out, that'll be centred in the jaws there, ready for drilling.
Right, so now I've got my angle plate set up with my collet chuck and a fly cutter. I've um, put a piece of aluminium bar on the um, front here and that's nice and square and then I've got the block butted up against that one so that's nice and square as well and then I can loosen the bolt off the back or the um, nut at the back and lower it down or bring it up as long as I keep it against this aluminium piece here it'll remain square so that's what it looks like at the back with the long nut on there locking it up and I've ground up a HSS fly cutting tool And that's the finish cut on that one. So before I turn it over to do the other side, I lock the stop up so that I know that when I come into that stop again, I'll be at exactly the same depth as the first side. And I can use my lead screw handle on the back here to feed it in gradually. And that one's spot on.
and that one's a perfect fit. So now I've marked it out halfway between the hole and the end faces, all the sides there, and I've drilled it on the bench drill to accept six millimeter Allen screws. And then I've thoroughly deburred it. And I've made up a 10 millimeter T-bolt, the size to fit the cross slide. I'll show you how to make these up a later date. So that one just goes in there. Make sure the block is nice and clean. And push that one up against that one. And put a washer on that one. And out of a piece of hexagon bar I've made a nut the same size as the one on the top of the part off block. And that's so I don't have to change spanners. So that one just screws on. And this is a method of getting the holes correct on the uh, part off block here. Push it up nice and tight against the other one and tighten it up. So they're both tight now. Then I can simply use a six millimeter transfer punch. To get the positions of the holes, I need to drill and tap in the main part of block. So just take that one out and a bit of packing. And now I can drill and tap those for those six millimeter screws. So now I've drilled and tapped that for six millimeter thread, deburred it and cleaned it up. That one can go on now. Up against that one, nice and tight. And tighten that one down. And now it's all completely aligned properly. And I can put my Allen screws in. And that's the job done. And you can see there that it's a much better job than just having one um, T-bolt. Much safer and great for parting off stainless steel or whatever.